Hola, good morning, Germanians. I'm Joe Warlock, and today's episode features an unboxing from one of you. Yes, one of you was good enough to send me a box to my PO box of geeky items, I presume. They did tell me this was coming, so I know it's from Pop Crazy UK, who you can find over on Instagram and does amazing Funko photos and other kind of geeky stuff. Worth giving a follow, so go and check him out. This is off him, and apparently packed in some sort of industrial tape. So nobody was getting into this. But we're going to cut it open and see what we have inside. Lucky dip and see what... It's a letter. Dear Jar Warlock, thanks for taking the time to review this box I've put together. In this box are a mixture of... <laughs> In this box are a mixture of geeky goodies I hope you enjoy. Plus there is one special item just for you, which you will either love or hate. Thanks, Pop Crazy UK. Hmm. Love or hate? If I was going to hate it, it would be a mug. If I was going to love it, it would be something other than a mug. I might love it or hate it. Is it food? I don't know what's in here. Okay, the first item is some sort of clothing. Ooh. It's a loot crate item. I don't have this. <sighs> I have wanted this for a while, though. Uh, a daredevil beanie. I've needed a red beanie for a while. Well, I haven't needed a red beanie. I just wanted a red beanie. And this has a lovely embossed daredevil logo. And I don't have it. And I really wanted it. Daredevil, of course, in the TV show at the minute. First appeared, I don't know the year, but it was in the Trial of the Incredible Hulk, which was a very strange program, with um, Luther Igno as the Incredible Hulk. Very nice guy. Massive guy. Met him at Comic-Con. Huge guy. Like, terrifyingly big. But very cool. So yes, a Daredevil hat. That's kind of cool. And Daredevil, of course, is Matthew Michael Murdoch, because Stan Lee loves alliteration in names. I just realised... On the inside, you can turn it the other way. It's the Punisher. Awesome. Okay, that gets my vote because the Punisher is an amazing character. Very anti-hero character, but very cool. Nice start. Next item feels kind of like a figure or something. Oh, yes. I've got this one already or had this one. Good segue, actually. It's the Incredible Hulk. Only at GameStop. I don't have one with only at GameStop on. And the stickers mean everything, apparently, if you collect these things. Buy a sticker, it's like a filer. With a sticker, they're like a million pounds. It's insane. But yeah, a glow-in-the-dark Incredible Hulk. Currently played by Mark Ruffalo, who probably does the best version of Bruce Banner I've seen. It's fantastic. He is really good, and I don't know if he's underrated in the films, but the Hulk is the one that always stands out for me. Can't wait to see what he looks like in Thor Ragnarok, because the Thor films are always the weakest, but they might be good with the Hulk in. But uh, yeah, it's adorbs. They're always happy, which is scarier than being unhappy, I guess, because the Hulk looking happy is terrifying. But not a bad little item. This is a really good box. I have a feeling this is going to be a box of very unusual items. So... Okay! When Batman gets bored, he obviously used to play with Beyblades. Because this is some sort of Beyblade thing called Versus Rip Spin Warriors. And it, it's... Batman looking absolutely terrifying and psychotic, which fits because that's what he generally looks like and does. He does psychotic? Yes, that makes sense. Yeah, it's a pull back and attack thing. I've never seen these. Play them all. Aquaman, Wonder Woman, Superman, Harley Quinn. That's weird. And I now want them all. Because what when Mattel is that what? what? How did I miss these being a thing? The next item is lost your keys. Need them in a flash? Get a flash keyring! I, I hate myself. Yep, it's a flash keyring with a symbol of the flash. Flash, not my favourite character. I've never seen the TV series, but he does look interesting in the DC Justice League kind of thing. So that'll be interesting. But they're really rushing this Justice League out, like trying to combat Marvel. Develop your characters. Don't just throw them into a film and go, there you go, because it hasn't worked so far. You gave Superman 43 lines in his film. The main character, 43 lines. And the guy can't act, so it's even worse. Anyway, flash keyring. I like keyrings. That's good. There's a lot more stuff in here. Okay, we have... Ooh. <laughs> Why do I make that noise? Star Wars Black Titanium TIE Fighter. That. Oh, I like that. I used to own, uh, until I sold it because I'm an idiot, the original TIE Fighter from the Kenner series, like the original ones from the first film. Amazing, huge thing it was. It was brilliant. And the wings used to blow off, like, all the time. And you press the button, it made weird pew-pew noises. It was great, but I don't own it. But now, I do have this. Oh, I've got to get this out and have a look. 
comes on a stand as well. That is really, really cool. I love the detailing. They've gone to a lot of effort to get all the sort of nooks and everything done. The top opens, that is awesome. Even the paneling, like the solar panels on the wings, they are so detailed, it's well painted. This Black Series titanium stuff is absolutely stunning. That is brilliant, thank you. Number 13. Now it's another thing I need the rest of. Ugh, more items, and this is covered in bubble wrap, and it's coming undone as I'm trying to get out of the box. Oh, it's a mug. I can feel the handle, I know it's a mug. I don't like mugs, but I like this one. That's up just... What? That is awesome. How? Where? When? Other words? That is... That is brilliant. That is actually stunning. I'm going to be honest, my logo looks brilliant on a mug. Thank you for that. That is fantastic. I will actually use this mug. In fact, I may have to get these printed up and just sell a bunch of myself because that is like some awesome merchandising. It actually looks really cool. That is amazing. Thank you. That's, yeah, a personalized thing. <laughs> Words. More things. There's loads of things. What in the world is this? Back in the old days when we were in school, anyone was in school, we used to play a game called Thumb Wars. It was stupid but fun futuristic version star wars lightsaber thumb wrestling <laughs> what why is this a thing you have little lightsabers you put on your thumb this is what duel against doki du what hold on clash in the clouds fire fuck they're all different scenarios it tells you how to win this is awesome i play this with my girlfriend but i feel she will beat me and uh, I think there may be some injuries playing this game. I've never seen this in my life. That is mental. What in the world? Who who at Disney went, you know what would be great? Lightsaber Thumb Wars. And it feels like there's more things. There's, oh gosh, what is this? Ooh, 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 comics. Ah, ooh, I like comics. Kaboom, awesome. Oh, uh. Awesome comics! Oh, what was his name? It's Liefeld, isn't it? Yeah, it's at the top, Liefeld. Jim Liefeld, possibly? He worked for Marvel. Um, then he left Marvel after an argument, and like Todd McFarlane and a bunch of others, I think there was like seven of them. And, yeah, there was about seven. They left, they formed Image Comics. Then he left Image Comics and formed his own comic, which was called Awesome Comics. It didn't last long. And then I think he went back to Marvel, then Image, and then back to Marvel, which was just really confusing. But you got to make a living. And this is Kaboom, which was his sort of superhero character, I guess. And I know nothing about the character. So that is going to be interesting to read. Issue 1, ooh, and Issue 2. That's cool. And then we have Gen Next. Awesome. This is Marvel's, uh, I guess, a sort of updated Generation X comic. And it features Colossus. So that gets my vote. Always loved Generation X because it had a uh, chamber and he was an awesome character who was not used enough. And now they've got Generation Next. That is kind of cool. Okay, really looking forward to having a look at that. Wow, okay, let's just check everything we got in that box. Four awesome comics. Can't complain. Love comics. Good start. Titanium TIE Fighter. Black Series. Brilliant. The Black Series stuff and the Titanium stuff is just amazing. Flash Keering. Love a good Keering. So that's good enough for me. Hulk Dorbs, it's glow in the dark as well. I'm sure I've got this one somewhere, I'm positive of it. But it doesn't have the sticker on, and that makes it better. Lightsaber Thumb Wars. <laughs> random, I like random things. This is utterly weird, but interesting. Look for a video one day of me doing this for 10 minutes. Batman vs. Spinner, I have never seen them, but I really want them. I used to love those things as a kid, like Beyblade and things like that. I didn't really have the Beyblades, but I had other stuff that were like them. You pulled them back and they fought, and you went, yeah, I won! I don't know how, but I won. Daredevil Beanie, that is lovely, and I was tempted to buy one of them from Loot Crate a while back, and now I didn't need to. So, 
awesome. And the mug! A mug I would hate, but it's... It looks just... That's... I oh, just... Words! It's so nice. That is ridiculous. Wow, yeah, thank you. That was an awesome box for me. Uh, again, that was off Pop Crazy UK. Check him out on Instagram. Very cool guy. D thank you. That's absolutely stunning. If you do want to throw things my way, whether it be horrible food, interesting items, or something amazing like this, feel free to chuck them in my PO box. There'll be a link on the screen or down below or somewhere. But thank you for watching, guys. Let me know what you thought of that. That's probably better than most subscription boxes out there and that's just from a subscriber so that is awesome so thank you for watching guys if you enjoyed please hit that like button because it really helps me out if you're new here why not subscribe because why not you might find something you like in the meantime though and most importantly be happy be free keep it awesome and i will catch you next time bye bye